Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to make a delicious mixed berry and fruit compote. This is basically a thickened fruit that you could use on ice cream, yogurt. The cake we made last week, by the way, would be excellent with this. You could put it on pancakes, waffles, just about anything. A mixed berry compote can be made in an Instapot or on the stove in a saucepan, but today we're going to make it in the microwave to keep this really simple and quick. To use pure maple syrup instead of sugar, you'll also need cornstarch, berries, fresh or frozen, and any other extra fruit you might have lying around, and a lemon. We're going to get about a teaspoon of zest from this lemon and about two teaspoons of juice. Now, as we showed before last week, you can use a zester or you could peel and cut very finely the outside portion of this lemon. One teaspoon. Then we'll get about two teaspoons of lemon juice. Now we're going to cut up this extra fruit in about the same size pieces as the berries will be so they cook evenly. Apple and our pears. We're going to just toss in about three cups of fruit. You're gonna need a total of about four cups of fruit for this recipe. Go ahead and add the lemon zest, the lemon juice, and stir. The amount of sweetness to add is really going to vary as to what you're going to do with the product. Because I think if you're gonna eat it plain, you might want it a little sweeter. If you're going to put it on a sweet cake or a sweet ice cream, you won't want as much sugar. So I would just say sort of go halfway in between. So we're going to do two tablespoons of maple syrup. These berries are obviously not sweetened, so this will just be about perfect. Stir this all in. And we're gonna microwave for approximately three or four minutes and we'll stir in between. It already looks awesome, doesn't it? Okay, it's been three minutes. And even though the fruit might be a little firm, especially our fresh fruit, we're going to pull it because we're going to add cornstarch now to thicken it and then we'll cook it more. So we don't wanna overcook. Now we're going to make the thickener. So we're going to put two tablespoons of water in a small bowl and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Depending on the amount of juice that your berries produce, which is going to depend on a lot of things. Fresh fruit and frozen fruit are all a little different like that, but we may not end up using all of this cornstarch slurry. So just take a whisk or a fork and just dissolve the cornstarch. You can always add more, but if you add too much, it will get too thick and pasty and then you'll have to water it down. So I would suggest we just stir in about half of this at this point Go ahead and cook that now so that it thickens. Probably another two minutes, maybe three. We'll check it out and see. This is our compote after the thickener was added and I would say about two or three minutes in the microwave. Now you know all microwaves are different and all fruit is different as to how much moisture it will have and how thick you want it. But this is gorgeous, it's steaming, it smells so good and we're going to put it on a little plain yogurt now. Remember, plain yogurt gives you a lot of great probiotics for good bowel health. It also doesn't have added sugar like so many yogurts. So when we're going to take this and add our delicious sweetened fruit that we did ourselves, we're controlling the amount of sugar that we get, but we're also getting the benefit from the fruit and the yogurt. This just looks so amazing. Mmm, wow. This is so delicious. You get the tart yogurt, you get a little bit of sweetness and wonderful flavor from the fruit. Before we go, I wanna add a little more of a plug to why berries are so important in your diet. If you've ever heard of the MIND diet, which is the Mediterranean Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay diet, research suggests that eating things like berries, leafy greens, fish, nuts, beans, and olive oil can all reduce your risk of cognitive decline so remember to include these delicious berries in your 
daily diet. You can store the remainder of your fruit compote in a jar or a sealed container in the refrigerator. 